Hi there, Juan here with LGG Media. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create or access your Facebook Pixel inside of the Business Manager. A Facebook Pixel is a, pix a piece of code that goes on your website and allows you to track visits and conversions that take place on your website. A conversion can be somebody accessing a specific page of the website, can be somebody filling a lead for a, for a contact form, or somebody making a purchase uh, on the website itself. Uh, so if you have an e-commerce store, that can be useful. The Facebook Pixel also allows you to receive uh, events that happen in the offline world, meaning if you, for example, have uh, run a campaign on Facebook to drive people to your store location, you can essentially tie back your your purchase convert your purchase data, your sales data, back to Facebook, and Facebook will be able to then tell you if an ad was responsible for driving that in that specific individual uh to your store and therefore you will be able to see which ad generated around or wide for your business so anyway uh to get things started here uh facebook pixel you need to go into your business manager head over to your business settings make sure you have your correct business manager selected as always select your business manager head over to the business settings and then you're going to go over to data sources under data sources you will select pixels and you will likely have a pixel already if you have done this before if you don't you can create one right now like myself i'm going to go ahead and use this test account to create a new pixel we're going to call this one's pixel <laughs> and uh simple as that and uh if you want to install the pixel directly on your website you could just very well do that uh, by going over here And if you, you can use either a partner integration or you can manually upload the code to your website, or if you have a developer, you can send them an email here directly. But I always recommend if you know what you're doing, uh, you can, I typically like to use Google My Business, Google Tag Manager to uh, install a pixel on the site. Uh, yeah, it's fairly straightforward. Just click on Google Tag Manager and then follow the steps, fairly straightforward. Once this is set up, you'll be able to start receiving events of, of things that happen in your site from website visits. Uh, you can check your events by clicking Open in Event Manager. But uh, for the time being, this is how you create a pixel. Uh, once you create the pixel, make sure you assign yourself as a user in the pixel. Give yourself full privileges. And then also uh, proceed to tie the pixel to an ad account. So make sure you add this to your ad account. If you don't have an ad account, uh, look, scroll up on the playlist on the right-hand side and, uh, and check out the video called how to create an ad account. It's very important that you watch that because the pixel is associated to the ad account from which you spend your dollars to advertise. So you wanna make sure that those accounts are tied to each other. Otherwise, if your pixel is tied to a different ad account where you're spending the money, you're not gonna track anything. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's how you create a pixel and that's how you assign yourself privileges. Then as far as checking that your pixel is properly installed on your website, uh, you can click on open event manager and then you can uh, see the graph here against time of what events are taking place on your website. So you'll be able to see everything here without any issues. Uh, but uh, because you're setting it, if you're setting it from the ground up, you just go to continue pixel setup and uh, set up Facebook pixel and, and proceed to do it that way. For the more advanced users uh, that want to set up your Facebook pixel using uh, by through uh, through server ser server to server through a server to server integration with your website or your CRM system, you can use the, the conversion API, also known as Cabby. I don't know if I said that correctly, but uh, I'll make another video for the, the more technical people who want to be able to tie your CRM data directly to Facebook without using a pixel. Uh, anyway, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Just put them down below. Thanks.